Hey guys, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about in-person lessons, the old school approach. Um, we do lessons here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, the studios, that's where the studio is located. Uh, and we serve the central PA area for in-person appointment lessons. Um, I have quite a few people from Harrisburg and Reading, uh, York uh, that come in. Obviously, it's a little bit more of a drive, so they opt for our bi-weekly lessons. Uh, you only have to go come to the studio then twice a month. People that are a bit closer generally do a half an hour a week. Uh, I work with all ages, all levels. My youngest is six, and my oldest is 72 currently. So uh, we're coming up on the new season. Uh, new sessions are starting uh, this fall. The uh, fall session's beginning, coming out of summer vacation. So I uh, wanted to reach out and let people know I have a couple openings left um, and uh, looking for a couple new students to put in those time slots. It's probably important to point out there are two different options for lessons today. Uh, you have in-person lessons, and you have some sort of online uh, system of learning, whether it's YouTube or some sort of tutorial platform. Uh, both have their advantages um, and disadvantages. I'm not advocating for one over the other. Uh, it really depends on the student. I find that my online lessons uh, through my YouTube channel are very song oriented. So people have a tendency of they're they're just learning a song they're not really interested in the music aspect of it or theory or all kind of learning the science and putting it all together they're more just getting hey i want to learn uh eric clapton's song and and they learn it and the guy says put your finger here put your finger there uh and that's the end of it they go away they play the song they're happy to some extent but they don't really have a whole lot of understanding what they're doing and that's problematic if they get into a situation where they're playing with other people. Uh, that's a broad stroke to characterize online lessons that way, but it is the majority of uh, how lessons are conducted. Uh, the, the positive in that is you don't pay for them. The positive in that is you don't have to schedule the lesson. You can just basically sit down whenever at your leisure and learn a song, uh, but there isn't any accountability, so sometimes there's not uh, a really good work ethic as far as learning the instrument. Uh, so conversely, when you do in-person lessons, obviously it's a little bit more individualized, there's a little bit more accountability, there's more of a commitment because you have to set up a time. And um, so you have to really find out what your goal is like, what do you want to do with it? Do you want to just, hey, I want to learn these 15 songs. Um, and I'm cool with that. Well, that's probably an online thing. You don't even have to pay for that. You can, or schedule it. You can just do it at your leisure. Uh, if you're a little bit more serious, like, hey, I want to know what's going on. I want to be able to use that information to learn songs faster. Then you probably want a little bit more uh, a curriculum that's a little bit more ambitious, and that usually involves accountability with a personal instructor. And, and again, I'm not advocating for one or the other because I do both. So it's uh, it's really up to the student. I've had students come in that have a, um, a more attendance issues and don't seem to be practicing a whole lot, and I always encourage them. Hey, why don't you just go on YouTube? And, and learn some songs uh, at your leisure. So those are the really the two approaches that are available to you. Um, and ultimately, uh, whether you're an adult or you're a parent looking for lessons for your child, uh, that's what you have to ask yourself. You know, and um, that question is probably the first one that needs to be answered before you decide uh, where you're going for lessons, be it an online tutorial or uh, a local instructor uh, that you actually physically go to the location. So finally guys, what, do, what does a student need to bring to the table? Obviously the instrument. And um, the question that comes up there is acoustic or electric, that's entirely up to you. Uh, 
you can learn only the one obviously if you you're interested in music and you find yourself listening to more acoustic music then you should probably get the acoustic guitar because you know the songs are going to sound more authentic uh, if you're into the more rock thing with distortion and whatnot, you're going to need an electric guitar um, with uh, an amplifier, a chord, and, and so there's going to be some more accessories involved. Uh, but you can learn on either one, so that's kind of, uh, for, for learning, it's, it's irrelevant. Uh, whatever you have uh, at your disposal uh, to be able to use, you know, a relative's guitar, a friend, uh, or, you know, you can go online and usually find a decent affordable starter guitar for somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 probably. So uh, once again, thanks again for uh, listening and um, www.theguitar-shop.com. You can check out our, uh, our uh, website if there's anything I missed. Uh, we have a frequently asked questions page. Or you can do a search on Google Guitar Lessons in Lancaster, PA and our Google page the guitar shop will come up and you can read numerous reviews um, from folks from kids young age to uh, adults right up through a retirement so uh, any questions specific uh, text friendly 717-468-0795 or you can reach us email the guitar shop studios at gmail.com thanks for hanging out Hope to see you soon.